from the phenomenology of mind by frederick hegel in the story of oedipus the son does not see his own father in the person of the man who has insulted him and whom he strikes to death nor his mother in the queen whom he makes his wife in this way a hidden power shunning the light of day waylays the ethical self-consciousness a power which bursts forth after the deed is done and seizes the doer in the act for the completed deed is the removal of the opposition between the knowing self and the reality over against it the ethical consciousness cannot disclaim the crime and its guilt the deed consists in setting in motion what was unmoved and in bringing out what in the first instance lay shut up as a mere possibility and thereby linking on the unconscious to the conscious the non-existent to the existent in this truth therefore the deed comes to the light it is something in which a conscious element is bound up with what is unconscious what is peculiarly one's own with what is alien and external it is an essential reality divided in sunder whose other aspect consciousness discovers and also finds to be its own aspect but as a power violated by its doing and roused to hostility against it it may well be that the right which kept itself in reserve is not in its peculiar form present to the consciousness of the doer but is merely implicit present in the subjective inward guilt of the decision and the action but the ethical consciousness is more complete its guilt purer if it knows beforehand the law and the power which it opposes if it takes them to be sheer violence and wrong to be a contingency in the ethical life and wittingly like antigone commits the crime the deed when accomplished transforms its point of view the very performance of it io ipso expresses that what is ethical has to be actual for the realization of the purpose is the very purpose of acting acting expresses precisely the unity of reality and the substance it expresses the fact that actuality is not an accident for the essential element but that in union with that element is given to no right which is not true right on account of its actuality and on account of its deed ethical consciousness must acknowledge its opposite as its own actuality it must acknowledge its guilt because of our sufferings we acknowledge we have erred an adaptation from antigone nine twenty six that was from the james black bailey translation made in nineteen ten pages 467 and 468.